What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Y'all know the business. Been getting a lot of requests lately to talk a little bit more about Apex and programming. So if you follow my channel for any length of time, you've probably seen the video of how I automated my water change. So this is going to be part two of that video. In this video, not only am I going to talk about the water change, I'm also going to give you the code and the outlets that I use in order to accomplish the one button water change. So if you have any questions, let me know. If you want the code, let me know. Here we go. So all of the outlets associated with the water change are to the right. PMUP underscore waste is going to pump water from the sump to a drain. PMUP ASW is going to pump fresh salt water in. ATO SOL PMUP is my ATO pump. VO ATO reg is kind of a toggle switch between regular ATO operation and water change operation. And the last two VO AWC 5 gallon and VO ASW hold controls the water change. So let's take a look at the programs that I'm using for the individual outlets on my water change. So the first uh, outlet we're going to look at is the PMUP underscore waste. This is just a Neptune PMUP and it is sitting in the sump and its job is just to pump out wastewater from the sump into a drain into the other room. So this pump will run and it is set to run for about 30 minutes. Once it's finished, it will go ahead and trigger the other pump to start running, which is the PMUP ASW. Now this pump is set up to wait until all of the water that is supposed to be pumped out during the water change is pumped out. This uses a 50 gallon reservoir in another room as its source of water and pumps this water directly into the sump. Now there are a lot of controls here set up so that it won't pump when the wastewater is being pumped out or when it is in a normal, uh, what I consider, ATO mode. So the next one we're going to take a look at is ATO SOL PUMP. This is another Neptune PMUP that is pumping fresh RODI water into the sump as a automatic top off unit. Once again, this is set up so that it will not do automatic top off when the water change is running and that's why you see a lot of the if output you know whatever is on then turn this pump off it's kind of a fail safe to make sure that we're not going to pump in fresh water in the middle of doing a water change that would mess up the solidity of the system and cause a bunch of other problems so have to monitor for that the next outlet that we're going to take a look at is VO ATO underscore REG. This is kind of like a toggle switch. This tells the system, are we in our normal ATO mode or are we in the automatic water change mode? Now, when it's in ATO mode, only the ATO can turn on. When it's in water change mode, the ATO cannot turn on and only the uh, water change pumps can turn on. So just as a reminder, if you want to see any of this code, just let me know and I can send this out to you. The next one we're going to look at is VOAWC underscore 5GAL. All this is doing is telling the system that we are in water change mode and this is where I set the time of how long the uh, wastewater is going to pump out for. It's set to 31 minutes here. The next pump is VOASW underscore hold. This outlet is going to make it so I cannot pump in uh, the new salt water at the same time that the wastewater is being pumped out. The water change is set up as I pump the wastewater out and then I pump new water in after that is completed. So those are the outlets. Let me go ahead and do a complete rundown of the program itself. Now the first thing I want to say is that when using Apex Fusion, there is a couple of seconds delay from the time you hit something to where you see something happen in the Fusion screen. This is not going to hurt our programming. So I hit feed cycle D, which is going to trigger the automatic water change. As you see, VO underscore ATO reg is set to on. That is shortly going to turn to off. V 
VO ATO reg just tells the system to use the regular ATO pump instead of the salt water pump uh, to, to pump in new fresh salt water. So now we see PMUP waste turned to on. We see VO AWC five gallon turned to on and VO ASW underscore hold turned to on. PMUP waste is pumping out salt water from the sump into a drain in another room. Now this is going to happen for about 30 minutes and I can control exactly how much water I'm pumping out by the amount of time that I have this pump turned on. VO AWC 5 gallon is just telling the system, hey, we're doing a water change right now. And VO ASW hold is holding up, pumping new fresh salt water in until all of the wastewater is pumped out. Now, of course, I want to pump water out first, and then I want to pump fresh water in as soon as I'm done with that. So I've sped up the video so we don't have to wait the entire 30 minutes. Of course, you don't want to see that. So in a minute here, we're going to see our pump switch into the second part of the water change. And it just did it here is where now PMUP ASW is turned on and VO ASW underscore hold is turned off. So now that pump PMUP ASW is pumping in new fresh salt water from our newly mixed salt water reservoir in another room. Now this pump is going to continue pumping water until a float, float switch is triggered. That's gonna tell it to stop pumping water as we see. Once again, I've sped up the video so it's already stopped pumping water and our water change is complete. The only thing we're waiting on now is for a certain amount of time to pass so VO underscore ATO reg is turned back on. As we see, it just turned on. All this does is just tell the system once again that we are now in regular ATO mode and to not use the fresh salt water pump for anything. That's the water change. Well, everybody, that's the business when it comes to water change and my Apex configuration. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Talk to you guys later. Happy reefing.